गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव राइटली डिस्कस द ट्रेडिशनल फंक्शंस ऑफ द कमर्शल बैंक्स एंड इन द ट्रेडिशनल फंक्शंस यू हैव स्टडीड द प्राइमरी फंक्शंस एज वेल एज द सेकेंडरी फंक्शंस टूडे लेट मी डिस्कस द मॉडर्न सर्विसेस विच आर गोइंग टू बी ऑफर्ड बाय द कमर्शल बैंक्स एंड मॉडर्न सर्विसेस आर ऑल्सो सो कॉल्ड एज द न्यू सर्विसेस or they also called as the advanced services which are going to be offered by the banks in india so today let us go through all those new services one is the first important service is new schemes for accepting deposits new schemes for accepting deposits in the sense if you see the primary function of any banks in india actually they are well known for accepting the deposits as well as lending the loans and advances to the needy people that is why keeping in mind accepting the deposits the banks are going to accept the deposits from the people who have been scattered and spread in various areas that is why many different services have rightly been launched by banks in india and looking to those schemes it can be fd fixed deposit scheme it can be rd recurring deposit scheme or it can be loan linked recurring deposit scheme pygmy deposit scheme educational deposit scheme and apart from that you can you can see that retirement scheme so these many schemes have rightly been introduced by the commercial banks in india so as to collect the required deposits or the funds from the public that is the first important service and second thing is that automatic extension deposit scheme so this scheme has been introduced with an intention to borrow and collect the deposits from the public only and how this scheme operates actually the person or the depositor who wants to keep his deposit in the respective bank at the time of deposits only he has to give the clear instruction about for how many periods or for how much duration he wants to keep his money as a deposit in this bank and once the clear instruction is going to be provided they are going to set the computers accordingly why because in these days the advanced technology and the networking and information technology are rightly been adopted by the banks and they have started using the computers for the smooth flow of the banking operations once this kind of a information is going to be collected from the depositors they are going to set the time periods accordingly and once that time period gets over reaches according and thereafter there will be extension in the time period of the fixed deposits and whatever the interest that is going to be credited it is going to be credited automatically for that purpose the computers are going to be extensively used by the commercial banks in india that is the second important scheme and third scheme is that home loan account for housing finance so this is also one of the latest and one of the important scheme for all those people who wants to construct their own house why because construction of a house is a dream for every individual and if suppose if i want to construct a house 
it requires more amount of a capital and it is impossible for me so as to make arrangement for that much of capital required for that what i am going to do i am going to open one loan account that is so called as the housing loan account and this account can be opened in any kind of the scheduled commercial banks in any kind of the cooperative banks and in any kind of the urban cooperative banks also and it is going to provide you very cheap convenient as well as flexibility with respect to the operating your loan accounts from time to time to the extent a kind of a convenience has been made so as to open a loan account and so as to fulfill your desire so as to construct your own house at any point of time that is why this scheme is most relevant for all those desires and fourth important scheme is that schemes for financing small scale industries schemes for financing small scale industries and as we all know that today there is an enrichment and flourishment with respect to the economic development today there is a steady growth with respect to the gdp of our country why it is happening because it is because of the contribution which has been given by the small scale industries in india and from time to time it is the state government as well as the central governments are introducing many effective schemes so as to promote the development of small scale industries in india and if you see whatever the loans so sanctioned out of that 40 percentage of the loans have advanced only for the promoting the activities of the small scale industries in india to the extent a kind of a priority has been given to the small scale in india and if you see the women actually there is a women development and uh, in these days the women also taking an initiation so as to set up their own entrepreneur own organization and so as to fulfill the desires of the women also the banks are helping the women so uh, for the fulfillment of the financial requirements and today by taking the loans from many banks the women actually they are started their own entrepreneurs best example can be with mahila udyama nidhi or women uh, mahila vikas schemes these are the most relevant schemes which are going to be optimized by the especially by the women so as to fulfill the requirements of their establishment of the small scale industries to the extent the government is helping and promoting the development of the small scale industries in india and apart from that the fifth one is that personal loan scheme so these are very suitable schemes so as to fulfill the financial requirements of the individuals this kind of a schemes has been introduced by the banks and this kind of a schemes uh, are most relevant for the salaried employees and for the who are having the pensioners who are uh, get, uh, getting the monthly incomes for those category of the people this kind of a personal loans are most relevant schemes and this kind of a under this scheme the loan is going to be provided to the individuals based on the personal security or against the any kind of the collateral security they are going to advance the loans and sometimes uh, against the security of the even life insurance policy and even against the security of the jewelry and even the against the security of the investment which have been made in respect of the shares and debentures against all these security also the personal loans are going to be 
provided by the commercial banks that is why so as to fulfill the loan requirements of the individuals this kind of a schemes have been rightly been introduced and sixth one is educational loans so educational loans are very important and beneficial for the intelligent and for the meritorious students who want to continue their study either in india or in the abroad because so as to complete their educational requirements sometimes the students or people may not having the sufficient amount with them that is why so as to fulfill the requirements of the financial requirements of the education this kind of education loan facilities are going to be provided and this kind of education loans are going to be given against the personal security or against the security of their parents or even the security of the guardians this kind of a education loans are going to be rightly been uh, given by the commercial banks and in these days if you see the commercial banks are giving the education loans on a subsidy basis also because their intention is that they want to motivate the intelligent as well as the meritorious students and it is a completion of a education is also one of the dreams for each and every meritorious students so as to fulfill all these financial requirements actually the commercial banks are giving loans and advances to all those people the next thing is that the loan participation loan participation in the sense sometimes it is impossible for one bank so as to advance huge amount of loans to the people that is why what they will do they will make a chain of banks or a club of banks and all these banks are going to act on a consortium approach consortium approach in the sense they are going to make a collection of banks and whatever the huge amount of loan that is going to be advanced that is going to be shared among all the banks this is how the huge amount of loans are rightly been satisfied by making a club or the collection of the various banks in india and with the help of it they can pool huge amount of funds and they can share the risk aspect which is attached with the lending of the loans and even they can share their experience expertise and even they can make a proper check with respect to the multiple loan accounts which are going to be had by one individuals so in that case this kind of a consortium approach is very important that is what we mean as the loan participation the loan participation in the sense so as to advance the loan many and various banks are rightly been participated so as to fulfill the intention of advancing the huge amount of loan that is so called as the loan participation and eighth one is the schemes for financing agricultural development and as we all know the agriculture is the backbone of india and from time to time even the state government as well as the central government are introduce are introducing many effective schemes so as to fulfill the financial requirements of the agriculture for one or other reason the agriculture want to have the sufficient amount of money and the finance and so as to fulfill the requirements of procurement of any kind of a raw material and so as to meet out their loan accounts and so as to purchase any kind of the machinery equipments and so as to purchase any kind of the seeds fertilizers for these many reasons actually they want to have the money so as to fulfill the financial requirements of the agriculturists actually many specific agricultural development banks have been rightly been established by the government of india it can be land development bank it can be rrb rrb in the sense regional rural bank and even it can be nabard nabard in the sense 
National Agricultural and Rural Development Bank of India. So these are the three important agricultural banks which have been established by the government so as to fulfill the financial requirements of the agriculturists. And apart from that, many schemes have rightly been introduced so as to fulfill the financial requirements also. What are those? It can be area development schemes. It can be Kisan credit cards. And it can be microfinance or micro, uh, micro credit. So these many important finance schemes are rightly been introduced keeping in mind so as to fulfill the requirements of the agriculturists. So these are the these are the some of the important services which are going to be provided by the commercial banks in India. With this I am going to conclude my discussion. Thank you.